Hey, we're back. We're going to be taking a look at some other uh, vendors today, looking at some of their mods, uh, looking at some more games, and just kind of doing another run through of what's all is here. I'm thinking at the end of the video, I'm going to just do a slow walkthrough on each aisle with some music and uh, let you all absorb everything that's here at the show. So stay tuned. Over here at Pin Sound, um, I've got five of their boards in my uh, Valley Williams games and a couple in a Data East game. They're amazing. Uh, I'm going to have them tell you uh, what they do and why you need one. Hi, I'm Timote from Pinsound. Here, we are very pleased to be here at the TPF for this new edition. So what we can show you here today is uh, our new products. What we have here are original part for WPC game. It goes from CPU to display controller. Then we have shaker for original games. That's the new stuff. It it's makes your game compatible, even if it's not shaker enabled. It connects on the bus, bus protocol, bus connector. And then uh, with this baby here, the support, you get shaker out of any WPC, uh, data east, and uh, System 11 games, and that's it. Without the need of a pin sound board, because you all, all know the pin sound board, which is a replacement sound card to get the best sound out of your old game. Like again, WPC, DCS, you get the nice knob for tune control. You play, basically you play the soundtrack out of a flash drive. So you get the original soundtrack with a voice, like new call out, new effect, with stereo, uh, powerful amplifier, stereo 2.0, 2 2.1, sorry, for the subwoofer. It's like a perfect replacement to to give your old game a new boost with a line out output, of course, for the subwoofer. On this stuff, you can connect um, headphones uh, station. So basically, it's like a volume control for your game. It fits on the on the leg of the game, and uh, of course, you can connect the headphones, and then it mutes the speakers, obviously. And finally, the range of uh, Spike 2 product we offer are from. Uh, speak, speakers, five-inch speakers, and uh, uh, hefty, hefty subs, uh, and the um, headphone, st headphone station master is compatible with Spike 2 and line-out connector and shaker replacement shakers or shaker if you have a, if you happen to have the pro, the Spike 2 Pro games. That's um, a perfect addition to your game. We are at Tap Pinball, aka Electric Playground. And above my head, you'll see the talk of the modding community. This is a brand new company. They just came out with an unbelievable topper that blows away all other toppers. So we're going to talk to Rob, uh, one of the owners of the company. He's going to tell us a little bit more about the topper. Hey, guys. This is Rob with Electric Playground, uh, tetpinball.com. Uh, excited to show you off our debut product, TZ Topper Twilight Zone. Uh, we've got this awesome booth here thanks to the guys at TPF. Um, take a look at this. Uh, so this is a brand new topper that we built. Um, this is acrylic printed directly to the plastic. Uh, we've got 22 different plastics here, three uh, main interactive elements with the machine, and this awesome eyeball here in the center that runs through different animations. Um, so to show you guys the first thing, so when the gumball is loaded, uh, this ball actually will cycle uh, through this habit trail that's custom designed for this topper. Um, that's the first interactive element. The second is when the clock motor runs in both directions, uh, you'll have the clock spinning like so. Uh, so that runs. And then the last item is that when the multi-ball is ready, the door will uh, illuminate to indicate that your multi-ball is ready. So those are uh, some of the key interactive uh, components. This eyeball here cycles through animation. You'll see that the iris uh, actually changes in size. Uh, so this is a really cool feature that is constantly running uh, when you've got this topper set up. Uh, the entire topper uh, GI, the general illumination, is powered by an external power adapter activated by a light sensor when you turn on your machine. Uh, the power for the gumball and the clock motor are powered by your clock's motor. Uh, so if you take here a look in the back, we've got this kind of opened up for you. You can see some of the mechanics that are going on. 
So for the gumball motor, it actually uses this wheel to pick up the ball and drop it out. That's run by this motor right here. And then there's a second motor for the clock. Uh, you can kind of see it on this side um, mounted there. The computer is run by a computer board called a Teensy. It's an Arduino uh, computer using a clock display, uh, a, a prototype clock display. And then this is the, the uh, contraption that turns on the light sensor. Um, so you can see how that works there. So uh, overall, really awesome package. We've been getting great feedback here at uh, TPF. Uh, we had our on sale today of 25 units, sold through those, so those are sold out. But you can join our wait list at tetpinball.com. We don't have a limit on these units. Uh, each batch is going to go to people on the wait list as well as a first come, first serve on sale. So definitely check that out. We're over here at Cointaker. We've got Chris who's going to uh, talk to us about what's new and exciting at Cointaker. Good to be in Texas again. We're uh, here with our Voodoo Glass. We actually sold out for the show. It's been very popular. People seem to love it. We also have the Lebowski here again this year. It's been real good. And Pinball Brothers are just introducing the new Queen Pinball. So come down and check that out. We have a bunch of new mods here. Some stuff for Scooby-Doo. The new Cactus Canyon game. Uh, these are called glass ends. If you're pulling your glass out and you have concrete or tile and you want to sit down someplace hard, put that on the glass. Keeps you from shattering it. LED kits, bigger light kits. This is the new Queen Pinball from Pinball Brothers. It features all the live music from Queen. Lots of great excitement, new features. Uh, one of the cool things that Pinball Brothers does is they don't use mechanical switches. They're all inductive uh, ball interaction that, that acts as a switch. So the play field's totally clean of switch cutout. Coin Taker is the exclusive importer for Pinball Brothers, Queen, and Alien, and also for Dutch Pinball and the Big Lebowski. Over here at Haggis Pinball, checking out this gorgeous Phantom. Fathom. They also have Celts here. Over here at Planetary Pinball Supply. We have Wormhole Pinball. They are a streaming service that is based in Houston. We have lighted pinball mods. I actually have some of their products on my Star Trek Next Generation. They make a really cool Bork Cube mod that replaces the original Bork ship. But they also have a lot of uh, backlit armor um, that's made for different games. It looks really cool. Hi, my name's Jeff Frick and I run the History of Pinball booth at Texas Pinball Festival and at the Houston Pinball Festival. Uh, we specialize in 1930s pre-war pinball. The exciting thing about pre-war pinball is you can see all of the features that have happened today in machines in these old machines. We have machines with vertical up kicks, we have machines with habit trails, we have machines with multi-ball, all in these machines. You can see the early beginnings of them. You can see games where we started to do scores, started with the electricity, started with lighting, they're incredibly fun to play. They're easy to understand and impossible to master. And they're games of skill, no gambling allowed. Except for some of these. It's a 1934 Rockola machine. It has automatic base running men. When you shoot the ball, you're gonna go ahead and shoot and you're gonna try to get it right down the center into the bases. The base mechanism will give you a single, double, or a triple, or a home run. Right now, we just got a strike. If you get three strikes, you're gonna get an out. If you get four balls, you're going to get a run. Let's see if we can do it this time. It's a good shot, and we're going to see it go on to the base. And we got a home run on that one. We got one run batted in. If you look at the back glass, you can see where you could score as many as 12 possible runs to get 100 skill points, which would either get you a cigarette or a beer or a nickel. And uh, 
and keep you playing the game for money. This machine has no electricity at all. It's all clockwork mechanism underneath, and it all works on the torsion of a spring and a ratchet. Hello, everybody. I'm Craig Hassel from Fun Billiard and Game Room Superstore, and uh, just having a good old time here at the 2023 Texas Pinball Festival. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, out here selling games and stuff, representing Stern Pinball, Jersey Jack, American Pinball, uh, Chicago Gaming. I mean, if you're having a great time here at the show, uh, you should probably come out and see our store. We've got a 5,000 square foot showroom with a whole bunch of pinballs, and we're happy to help you out if you're looking for a game. We are located in Mesquite, Texas, 4539 Gus Thomason Road, uh, www.pinballandmore.com. Hey, I'm over here at Back Alley Creations, and we're going to talk to them and see what's new and exciting this year. Hey, guys. Um, so, new things we have is for Scooby-Doo. Uh, we have a apron mod. Uh, it's three-dimensional. It uh, has the sculpts on it that look like uh, the castle walls. They match that. Uh, it has the uh, space kook on it, and it is front lit with uh, LED strip. And we had a few requests we saw online where uh, people were looking for an alternative to the spotlight. So now we have a bracket that we're making. It comes with the mod, but we'll also sell it separate. And it's just going to be an LED strip that goes on there. Uh, the bracket attaches right underneath the post right there, and the strip will, uh, wires will come out, go right underneath, just like the other one did. Uh, we also have the rocks and our uh, Shannons uh, for the game. And then for Cactus Canyon, we made uh, Polly on the rock, as well as the train tracks and minecart with gold that goes on all the models, that goes on the back of the current one. And then uh, we finally got around, only took 15 years, to making uh, the Kraken for Stern's Pirates of the Caribbean, along with uh, the wood signs for uh, Tortuga and Port Royal. We're, we're here um, with uh, Brian's artwork, and as always, he's making some killer alternative uh, back glasses for uh, a lot of the Williams titles, uh, newest ones being Tales of the Arabian Night, Fishtail, and uh, Whitewater. And then, of course, we had the latest and greatest theater of magic and the original medieval madness. Swinging by my favorite booth, Measle Mods. Uh, Kristen's here, and maybe she can tell us a little bit about what's new and exciting for 2023. First of all, we're celebrating our 10-year anniversary as a company. We're doing re-releases of some of our like classic products. We just re-released the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, which we're really excited about. We've improved the technology. So that's been really cool. Uh, we're also re-releasing Donut Heaven. That's our next one. So we're upgrading our first product. So that's cool. And then we have some other surprises on the horizon as well. And then we'll also be really working our buns off this year with all these new games, right? So Godfather's in the shop now. Next week we'll have Food Fighters in the shop. We have the, the uh, Pulp Fiction coming to and we're kind of looking around at some of these other great titles that are here too so it's going to be an exciting year for us and for pinball people everywhere let's check your skill go for the flashing light you too. The back glass is actually in 3D, which is really cool. I know some people were talking about the tank turret and how it wouldn't sit flush up against the wall, which they're absolutely correct. It looks like it pops out about six inches past the back of the machine and that does light up during gameplay so what we're going to do we're going to go down row by row i'm just going to do a walkthrough
actually got some pinball moves right there. So we're going down the third aisle. We have Lord of the Game Room here going in full effect. So on the back row, we've got Comet Pitball and our friends at Rocket City Pitball. Starship Fantasy on your right. And Measle Mods. Heads up, pinball. So we're at about the halfway section. We're gonna walk through to the far side and we'll start going down the rows that way. Here is the booth that has been absolutely cram-packed. Chicago Gaming Company with Pulp Fiction. It's been so busy, I haven't even had a chance to play it. But I will tonight. And then we've got all the demo games from Pin Sound here. And then another booth that's been super crowded is American Pinball. Galactic Tape Force, which I have played. Played it twice last night. It's pretty fun. I would like to play it when I could actually hear all the call outs and the music, and that sort of thing. So rounding out this corner here in the midsection is Spooky Pinball. Did get to play a couple of games of Scooby-Doo last night. I enjoyed it. Again, I'd like to play it when there isn't a line of people behind me and I can hear the call outs. So coming behind the pin sound row here, we do American Pinball. And then directly on the other side is Coin Taker, which has Pinball Brothers and Dutch Pinball. And then just to the left is Silver Ball Swag, Chris Franchi, and Color DMD, which these are awesome. I have them in most of my games, most of my Williams Valley games. So against this back wall here is the Stern Marco Fun Booth. And 
there's been lots of coverage of this. I'll just do a, a quick walk through and then we'll go through the back third of the hall here. So behind the American pinball booth, we have another row of pinballs, which I have walked down this row in yesterday's video, but I will do it again a little slower so everyone can see what's here. So this is interesting. This is kind of like a co-op pinball situation. We got a lady that has the joystick and then a guy playing the game. The joystick controls the two upper flippers. All right, this is the back row in the midsection. Swinging around to the back corner. And we're here at the very back end. We got a bunch of uh, video games coming up.
In the back corner here. And the last little bit. Okay, so we are going to wrap up this video series. We're going to wrap up day two. It's been a great festival. I hope you guys were able to come out and check it out in person. If not, check out these videos and hopefully uh, you'll see what you need to see. Lots to see this year. Really big year for pinball with uh, all these new titles coming out and being announced at the show or right before the show. So until next time, keep flipping. <laughs>